Okay, good morning class. Good morning. Today we're looking at volume and surface area. We started with exercise 16.1. We need to complete 16.1, okay? This is exercise 16.1 and this is on page 362. So at this point we're told that the pyramid in the diagram has a height of 7 centimeters and a base of an equilateral triangle. So if the base is an equilateral triangle, Okay, so then uh, this would be 6, 6, and 6. Now to calculate the area of, of a triangle, we need to know what the perpendicular is relative to the base. Not so. So if you can name this ABC, the perpendicular height would be D. Let's call that then D. Okay, so we have a triangle looking like this now. A, D, C, that length being 6, that is now 90 degrees, and then what would D, C be? 3. Not so, just an equilateral triangle. A perpendicular line will divide the triangle up into two equal parts, okay? And then this length here, which is A, D, which is your perpendicular height, is what I'm interested in. Okay? So how are we going to calculate the perpendicular height? By using Pythagoras. So 6 squared is equal to 3 squared plus your perpendicular height squared. So that's going to give you 36 minus 9 equal to your perpendicular height squared. 36 minus 9 is 27. And the square root thereof is going to give you 3 root 3. When you calculate it, you should get 3 root 3. And this is simplified circle. Okay? So the question was to calculate the area. So how do you calculate the area with triangle? So half base times perpendicular. So it's half. What's my base of the triangle? 6. My perpendicular height is 3 root 3. Half times 6 is 3, so it's going to be 9 root 3. Um, centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at B. The B part of the question is calculate the volume of the pyramid. How do you calculate the volume of the pyramid? It's a third area of base times the depth of the subject. Okay, these formulas you must memorize, no? it's not given in the exam. So it's a third. What's the area of the base? 3 root 3. That was calculated in this, in this um, calculation. The 9 root 3, not 3 root 3. 9 root 3 times the depth of the object with the height of the perpendicular height of the object is 7. So it's going to be 3 root 3 times 7. It's 21 root 3 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's check if that's correct. Yes, okay. Any confusion to, um, with regards to this question? Alright. Let's go to the next one. Number three. The edge of a tetrahedron. Okay. Let me make this choice here. The edge of a tetrahedron, regular, which is a regular triangular pyramid. Which means to say all this, the, the, the edges are the same thing. That's a, which is it, um, regular. Okay. Each of four centimeters. Leave your answer in third form. Calculate the area of each face. So the area, the area of each face. Firstly, you are going to extract that thing. You are going to see something looking like this. That's four, four. Not so. So. 
we need the perpendicular hypothesis to calculate the area of, of, of each face, um, of the triangle, not so. So we got a triangle looking like this, let's call this perpendicular height. What's this length here? Two, yes, because again, it's a, an equilateral triangle, that length is four. So I'm gonna work uh, the perpendicular height out using Pythagoras. So four squared is equal to your perpendicular height squared plus two squared. 16 minus 4, 2 squared is 4, is equal to your perpendicular height squared, which is 12. Your perpendicular height is equal to the square root of 12 is going to be 2 root 3. Okay. Alright. So how do you calculate the area? The area is going to be a half base times perpendicular height. So it's going to be a half. What's the base of the triangle? Uh, 4 times your perpendicular height, which is 2 root 3. So this answer is going to be 4 root 3. You know answer? 4 root 3. Okay, any confusion there? Huh? No. 4 root 3 centimeters squared. In the B part of the question, it says calculate the total surface area of the pyramid. So in other words, how many faces do we have here? So one, two, three. I'm sure it's one. Where is the fourth one? Well, this one here. Four, no? So the, to the surface, the total surface area, or the surface area, or the external surface area, so there will be four times each face, which is 16 root 3 centimeters. Did you check if that's correct? Huh? No? Any confusion here? Let's go to the next one. A pyramid has an isosceles triangle base, an isosceles triangular base um, with sides 2, 25, 25, and 48 units. The height of the pyramid, which is the perpendicular height to the depth of the object, is 30 units. Calculate the volume of the pyramid. How do you calculate the volume of the pyramid? Volume is equal to a third. Area of base times the depth of the object. Not so. So, if you're looking at the area of the base first, okay, we have an equilateral triangle, but 20, uh, uh, an isosceles triangle, and 48. Can you see that? Again, to calculate the area of this triangle, I need to know the perpendicular the height of the triangle. Not so. So again, I drop that perpendicular there. And because I'm dropping it from that, uh, that angle between the two, um, between the two uh, common um, two equal sides, you'll divide this triangle up into two congruent triangles. Okay? Which means to say, we have a triangle looking like that. That will be 90. That will be 25. What will this length here be? 24. And this is your perpendicular height. So according to Pythagoras again, you've got 25 squared. is equal to 24 squared plus your perpendicular height squared. I think it's 49. It's 25 squared minus 24 squared. Is your 49. The square root of 49 is 7. So your perpendicular height is 7. Okay. So let's go. It's going to be half. Sorry, a third, sorry, times a half base times perpendicular height times the depth of the object. So it's a third times a half. What's the base of this triangle? Huh? What's the base of this triangle here? 48 times the perpendicular height? 7 times 30, which is the depth of the object. So we go a third. Times a half times forty eight times seven times thirty. And we give you one thousand six hundred and eighty. 
The square root thereof is going to give you. So the perpendicular height of the height of um, the, the depth of the, of the pyramid is 4 centimeters. Okay. This will get B, the volume of the pyramid. How do you calculate the volume? It's going to be third. Area of base times the depth of the object. So it's a third. What type of shape is this base? Square base. How do you calculate the area of the square? Side squared. Okay, so it's going to be side squared times the depth of the object, which is a third. Side squared, which is six squared, times the height, which is four. So it's 36 divided by 2, over 3, is 12 is 48. So, how many triangular faces does this pyramid have? Four, yes, four triangles. And in this triangle, each triangle here, has a base of six and a perpendicular height of? What's the slanted height here? One. Can you see that, people? Plus the area of it. Square, measuring 6 by 6. Can you see that? Do I have to write this like this? No. Okay? So it's 4. How do you calculate the area of a, of a, of a triangle? It's so half. My base is 6 and my height is 4. Plus the area of a, of a square. Side square, so it's 6 square. So that gives us. 4 times half times 6 times 4 plus 6 squared. It's going to give you 84. 84 centimeters. Okay. Next one. Number 5, 6. Six. We are told a right 
pyramid as a rectangular base with dimensions 10 by 18 and a height of 12 meters uh, 12 meters calculate the volume of the pyramid how do you calculate the volume it's going to be a third area of base times the depth of the object so it's a third how do you calculate the area of a, re of a rectangle length times breadth times the depth of the object okay you all agree with that so it's going to be a third what's my length 18 my breadth 10 my height Am I moving too fast? Huh? No. Okay. Times 18 times 10 times 12. We 720. 720 meters cube. Okay. B. The slanted and uh, slant heights of the faces. The apex point of the pyramid is directly above the point of intersection of the diagonal. Which means to say it's an height in the center of that, of that shape. Okay. So if you're looking at the slant of the height, it's going to be your, it's going to be your 19. So in other words, we have one triangle looking like this here. Okay. So from there to there measures 10. So from there to here measures 5. The perpendicular height is what I want to calculate, but uh, sorry, the slanted height. And let's just put the S here, slanted height. So H uh, sub uh, subscript S, and that is 12. You all agree with that? So the slanted height in the first case is going to be H squared is equal to 5 squared plus 12 squared, which is 169. The square root thereof is 30. Okay, so that is 13 here. If you look at the other, the other shape, the other tri triangle, with that slanted height there. Okay, with the slanted height looking this way now. So from here to there, it measures how much? 18. So what is it from there to there? 9. The perpendicular height is? 12 and the slanted height 2. Let's call this height 2 for now. That's what we need to calculate. So the slanted height 2 squared is equal to 9 squared plus 12 squared. 144 plus 81 is 225. 9 squared plus 12 squared. 2 to 5. The square root thereof, 15. So the second height is going to be 15 centimeters. Okay? So yes, 15. So there we have the two slanted heights here. Okay? Then the last question says the total surface area. So the surface area is going to be two triangles, the one having a base of. Let's go with this one first. There's two of those, one having a base of 10 and a height of perpendicular height here, which was 12. Plus two triangles. With these two triangles here, this has a base of 18 and a height of the perpendicular height here came to be 30. Plus a ring angle. Which measure, measures 10 by, or 18 by 10. 18 by 10, the rectangle. Can you see? So it will be 2 times a half, my base is 10, and my height is 2. Plus 2 times a half, my base is 18, and my height is 30. Plus 10 times breadth, which is 10 times 1. 10 times 18, which is 18. Let's do that calculation. It's 2 times a half times 10 times 12 plus 2 times a half times 
18 times 13 uh, plus 10 times 18. 534. Is that correct? Check there. Of times 2 times 10 times 12 plus 2 times a half times 18 times 30 plus 10 times 18. 5, 3, 4, which is wrong, eh? Let's check again. With this triangle here. So the base of 18, this was 5, 12, so that is 13. So 18 is your third. That's good, eh? Then the other end, that being 18, so it's going to be 9. 9, 13, and 15, yeah? So 15 is your 10. 15 is your 10. Here's my mistake. Why did I write 12? Where am I getting 12 from? That's, that's my mistake. Can you all see here? It's supposed to have been 15. I've worked it out and everything, but I've used the perpendicular. Right? My mistake. That should be 15. Okay, so that is going to be 10 times 15. 5, 6, 4. There we go. 564. Centimeter, uh, meters. Yeah, meters. Okay, sorry about that. So that basically brings us to the end of of the first exercise. Okay, just uh, one thing I need to to show there is the exercise is the example. I left out an example here. I think the bell rang by that point. Give us an example here. Huh? I didn't do this example, isn't no? I'm going to do it now quickly. So this one basically works in reverse. This is an example, what? Example? Four. And this one page. What? Example 4 and page 359. A triangular pyramid with an equilateral triangle as a base. With a triangular base. And a triangle as a base has a volume of 20 root 3 cubic units and each side of the base is four units. Calculate the height of the pyramid. So you, remember here the volume is given. So how do you calculate the volume of a pyramid? Volume of a pyramid is going to be a third area of base times your depth of your perpendicular height of the volume. So your Volume is 20 root 3, the third. We look at this, bay, uh, this triangle here. What other triangle do you see here? An equilateral triangle. Can you all see that? So what they did was they extracted the equilateral triangle there. 
And then by drawing a line perpendicular here, you'll divide these lengths into two halves. Which if that is four, it will be two per piece. So how do you calculate the perpendicular height? Pythagoras, they, they named it A. The perpendicular height squared is equal to four squared minus two squared. Which is 16 minus 2 is 12. The square root thereof is 2 root 3. Okay, so that's your perpendicular line, 2 root 3. So the area of the base, remember this equilateral triangle is your base. So half, my base, which is 4, times your perpendicular height, which is 2 root 3. Times the depth of the object, which is? How high is this thing? Is what is actually what we calculate. Not some of the depth of the object. Okay? So to get that on its own, I divide throughout by its factor here, which is a third, a half, and eight root three. So it's one over six times eight root three, working over the two as three over four and three root three. Okay? That cancels. So H gives us um, 20 root 3 over 1 over 6 times 8 root 3. Oops. Gives you an answer. 15 units. Okay. You guys understand? Yes. Alright. What's up here? Did I give you any other homework? No past papers, no nothing. So I'll give you a past paper now. I'll tell you which uh, questions to do for. Okay. I'll stop the video at this point.